Okay, so this video is going to be about programming the Harbor Breeze fan that I got here at Lowe's. So I have two of these fans that we bought, one for our bedroom, and uh, the remote control is very close, uh, and so it controls both fans. Sorry, I'm using an iPhone to record here. So this, uh, this remote here has the toggle switches, so this is what they're calling the smart learning remote fan, whatever. Um, so what you need to do is, there is no, there are no toggles or anything uh, to find on the fan like you would see in the old school type uh, um, fans where you had some little thing that would stick up here, you know, in the top where uh, it had toggle switches. So the only thing you need to do, it's actually pretty uh, pretty easy, is you need to change one of these settings here. I'll, uh, it was originally all uh, one, two, three, four were all up. So all I did for this second fan was just move this one switch down. Um, so the number one position, I just moved it down. Um, now I'm going to try to demonstrate this uh, as best I can. So the idea here is you want to make sure that your that your light's off. Okay, so. Right now, I already programmed it, so I'm just going to try to reprogram it. So what you want to do is, is change, your, change your toggle switch, go over to your light, turn it off, okay? As soon as your light's off, you can then turn the light on, and as soon as you turn the light on, you want to push a paper clip into the learn hole there and hold it down. Once you do that, the lights will flicker on the fan and you have programmed. So I'm going to try to demonstrate this uh, all, while, all while holding the phone. So here we go. So I'm turning the fan on. It's now on. And I'm going to get Oh, might not be successful here. Okay, I'm pushing the learn button. There it is, holding it down. You see it's blinking, and that's it. So now at this point, all I did was just take my paper clip, shove it in the back there, and uh, you can see we work now. So, like I said, um, if you have two of these, just make sure the Toggle switches are in different positions, um, and you'll be good to go. Um, there are some remotes people are saying that don't have the toggle switches, um, and uh, you would probably want to look up in your fan for the for some sort of buttons or whatnot. I, I'm not really sure, but with the ones with the toggle switches, you want to go ahead and just move one of these. All right. Hope that helps somebody out because. Uh, Took me a while to figure it out. I took apart the fan a few times, so I, that was not cool. All right, bye.